Frank Seppi for NPC News Online. Here with a lady who doesn't need an introduction. The figure champion, Olympia champion. Now you got the Arnold. So is this going to be added to your very illustrious career? Tomatoes. I'm hoping so. I'm hoping so. I worked really, really hard going into the show. I work hard going into every show, but when it's something new that I want to accomplish, I go even harder. So every year I want to be better. So this goal was to be better than last year's Olympia, and so I think we're going to do that this year. I've interviewed quite a few times. Your face is really lean right now. That's man. my friend said. I didn't notice. I was like, oh, is it? Oh, well, that should be a good sign. <laughs> Sometimes you sit at these meetings, and you're like, that person's not in shape just by their face. <laughs> See, you, mine is always, you can't really tell because my cheeks are so fat. Usually, even my diet face is usually like That's what I'm saying. I'm like, yeah. I think we're going to see something special here this weekend. <laughs> That's the plan. I, I've definitely looked in the mirror and been like, oh, okay. So I know yeah. it's going to be hopefully that same reaction from the judges. <laughs> What did you improve on from the Olympia? I mean, you looked fantastic at the Olympia. What did you do for this show? I think it's about my overall consistency. So once I got off the stage at the Olympia, I had my cheat meal and I was right back on my diet the next day. So through that whole week, it allowed me not to gain the extra five, seven pounds. So that means there's five, seven pounds I didn't have to come back off or extra fat that I didn't have to lose. So those, those fat deposits never really enlarged. So if it didn't enlarge, you're just going to get smaller. So it creates a different body. And I think also I'm just getting older. So for me, that's a good thing because I was a baby when I started. And so as I get older, it's like grown woman muscle keeps being put on. So that's like, oh, that's a different look. It's like, ooh, I feel grown. I feel like an adult. I'm adulting now. <laughs> well, you talk about getting older. What mistakes have you done with contest prep in the past? Because, you know, NPC competitors want to know this. I've done really old school diets where it's just like frozen stuff. Not even a fresh tilapia, frozen stuff. You know, the fake, the fake, fake with the grapefruit. The Tyson fruit. chicken? Yeah, for every <laughs> meal. So it was literally grapefruit and fish for every single meal. No veggies for a week. Yeah. I almost died. Don't do that, y'all. Don't do it. Don't do it. I remember the 70 egg white a day diet and half a grapefruit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, and I hated grapefruit, so I had to force feed myself to eat it. So it got to the point where, like, back then, because I was, like, 14 at the time, 14, 15, I was like, mm, I don't like eating this. So I just went eat. So I just sitting there starving all day. Metabolism just shot. But at least I was 14, so it kind of bounced back a little bit. But Well, you know what? A lot of new uh, new competitors out there, they don't know. Like, you tell them, well, you got to eat chicken. They don't know. They, like I said, ty Tyson chicken, frozen chicken. They don't understand that it has to be grilled, plain, broiled plain chicken. Yes, you know? be very, very cautious of where you get your food from because it can make you look like a bowfish in a two-second span. You literally <laughs> look crazy, so don't do that. <laughs> Obviously, if you don't win, which you will, right, you'll be extremely disappointed. <laughs> uh, you know, because you have you get to defend the Olympia Championship, so, I mean, you know, so that's why I think the face is so lean today. Mm -hmm. I think, I think you put something extra special in the prep for the show, right? I, I think so, too. I, like, my drive, this prep has been second to none. It's yeah. like I see a new person every prep I get, and I just feel the fire always getting brighter. So a lot of people, they accomplish things, and they get complacent. That is never, ever going to happen for me. Like, my foot is always on the pedal mm -hmm. until I retire, and that's a long time from now. <laughs> do you kind of you look at other competitors' Instagram while they're getting ready for prep? I could care less. I, look, I get off of social media, do a social media cleanse the week before every show. I did a week and a half this time. And even so, even then, like when I'm on Instagram, I'm not a scroller. So like, I'm not following a whole bunch of people. We're not actual friends or like, I follow Frank though. You know? <laughs> she does. I Frank and I like, I double tap. Because Frank doesn't post foolery. If you're following people who are posting foolery, I, you just need to unfollow them. There's no purpose in following them. So that's a good thing too. I follow who... It's going to motivate me. Well, and, too. Yeah. yeah, well, you see some of these pictures, too, and you're like, wow, that person's in phenomenal shape. Right. And then when you see them, you're like, what Everybody happened? Everybody looks good on Instagram. Everybody looks good at angles and lightings and everything. Know. But the one thing I love is when you're on stage, there is no hiding. Your front pose is your front pose. You yeah. can't twist out of your front pose. That is what it is. Yeah. So it's like you have to really take that into account. You're right. You know what? And it only counts a day of the show anyway. You can always look phenomenal in the gym. You see people in the gym all the time who are in shape and they're like, oh, I can compete. Yeah. It's a lot different when you're under the lights and when they see every part of your body yeah. is under scrutiny by the judges and stuff. So, so I mean, look, you've won everything. Not yet. Ah. Not 
buy it. <laughs> what advice would you give to up and coming figure competitors? I'd say always remain humble because always remain humble and hungry because the second you take your foot off the gas is when your title gets snatched. So, and, and it can be snatched even if your foot is on the gas. It's happened to me. I always work and I always outwork myself. It's once, like Frank said, it's who shows up that day and how they show up. So take that L, remain humble, always know that you can be beaten. So as long as you keep that in mind and you keep that mentality, you always work hard and you try to maintain your title that way or get a title that way. Is there anyone out there you want to give a shout out to? Coaches, sponsors? I want to give a shout out to my coach, Damien Segovia with AZ Pro Physiques and of course my sponsor, Cage, which has been the main difference for this prep. They've been supporting me so much this entire prep and it's been a great family. So I really want to thank Cage Muscle Supplements too. Well, I wish you luck and I'm sure you have millions of fans on NBC that wish you luck as well. And thank you for taking the time. And uh, this is Frank Seppi for NPC News Online.